very good. Yes, yes, um, you're very, very, uh, really nice. And uh, you practice, yes, I'm sure you practice very hard. Yes, and your, your teacher is also very nice. Okay, so um, let's return to the very beginning. And uh, yes, check detail. Yeah, just detail. Yeah. Big picture is okay. Yeah. Actually, accompaniment part is all 16th note. Always. So we just write that accompaniment part. So it's better, okay? Always imagine, imagine accompaniment part. Then you don't need to count. Yeah? One, two, three, da di No, you don't need. Just you remember if you remember accompaniment, then you can you can make it timing easily. to express your dynamics more. Then just add light vibrato. So no vibrato. with vibrato and good dynamics. And 
you need tandy. Yeah. Tenuto for the first uh, for the initial note. Da la la la. Then then um, uh, uh, rest um, the two uh, two of three. They yeah, are getting quicker, really quicker and less valuable. No, these notes are really valuable. So if you do tenuto, it's really difficult. Yeah, if I were you, I play like this. No. No. So probably your tenuto is too long. La 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 la. Just a little bit. Yeah. La 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 la. Try. No, still, still too long. Too long tenuto. Yeah. No. I think I think D and E is too quick. Did you try no breath, no breath? I don't recommend that. Re do use regular fingering because you know then you know trill is pretty quick. However, this E is more important than you think. Do you use, use regular? Yes, yes, yes. Then your high E is more valuable. Value, valuable. Yeah, you can put more va value on on the high E. Yes. That's very important. Okay. Here, here, here. 
uh, okay, each note should be really even. And then you can express something. And, and then...